Welcome to the Simplicity of the Gospel, brought to you by the Peg. Welcome into the Church of Christ Church in Barbados. Today I want to tell you about the Word of God that you need so much for yourself, for your growth, for your nutrients, and also the Word of God that you must share when you go out. We've been talking about you being a call of God and being a vessel of honor, sanctified, meet for the masses use, and all of that. We've been talking about the harvest is plenteous and the laborers are few. So now you have decided that you want to be a laborer in the vineyard. So where do we go from here? I want to say that I am disappointed that many times Christians, are, are Christians who are in the house of God for a long, long time, when they're calling on the calling programs, they are, they are embarrassed by people who don't even consider themselves to be Christians. It is because they have not taken time to study, to show themselves a proof unto God, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Let's look at some people today and see that God is going to call upon them to eat the word of God. To eat the word of God. You know, I love Ezekiel. When Ezekiel prophesied, he always said the word of the Lord came to me. And I could understand why. I could understand why. In Ezekiel chapter 3, you're going to see that God is going to say to him, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak to the house of Israel. You've got to eat the word of God, make it a part of your life imbibe it before you could go speak to anybody else otherwise they're going to make a mess of you so i opened my mouth and he caused me to eat the roll that is the word of god and verse 3 says and he said to me son of man cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that i give thee then did i eat it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness and he said unto me son of man go Get thee to the house of Israel and speak my words unto them. Before you could go speak the word of God, you need to have it in you first. For, he said in verse 5, For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech or of a hard language, but you are sent to your own people. You are sent to the house of Israel. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words you cannot understand. Surely, if I had sent you to those type of people, they would have listened to you. But verse 7 says, But I have sent you to the house of Israel, they will not listen to you. For they will not listen to me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Behold, however, I have made your face strong against their faces. I have made your foreheads strong against their foreheads. As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made your forehead. Fear them not. Neither be dismayed of their looks, though there be a rebellious house. So the Lord said to Ezekiel, Ezekiel, eat the word of God. The word of God has to be part of you. You've got to spend time taking the word of God in. Ezekiel opened his mouth and Jehovah God gave him a scroll to eat. And he was commanded to feed his stomach and to fill his inward parts with the scroll. After Ezekiel ate the scroll, then Jehovah God charged him to go to the house of Israel and speak words unto them. This is what we have to do. Otherwise, the world will laugh at us. They'll make a mess of us. But look at John. John in Revelation chapter 10. Listen to verse 8 to 11. John was told to take the open scroll that was in the hand of Christ and devour it and prophesy over many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. Let me read it for you. Revelation chapter 10 of verse 8. I'm here making the point that now you're called. Now you've decided that you're going to be part of the vineyard. Now you decide that you're going to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. You need to have the word in you. Revelation 10 verse 8. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go Take the little book which is in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went to the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it may make your belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand, and I ate it up, 
and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and many nations and many tongues and many kings. Sometimes pastors will tell you that the word of God that God has given us to, to, to preach is not always sweet like honey. Sometimes it is bitter. And so in the case of John, John ate it and it was in his mouth sweet as honey but it was as soon as he had eaten it it was bitter so sometimes you have sweet words sometimes you have bitter words but god has called you to, to take in the word of god you must have the word of god to share you know john not only received the scroll but in verse 10 he devoured it um to devour anything is to receive it into your being and we must receive the divine revelation this way. Notice that both Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and John had to eat the word of God, had to take it into them before they can share it. Now, let me give you uh, uh, another aspect of this. Let's talk a little bit about, about Jeremiah. We want to talk about Jeremiah. In Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16, we hear Jeremiah saying these words. Thy words were found and I did eat them, and there became the joy and the rejoicing of my soul. If you're dumb and depressed and lack joy, why not take the word of God and partake of it? Why not eat the word of God, devour it on a daily basis? The word of God says that as newborn babes, we shall desire the sincere milk of the word that we will grow thereby. The Bible said man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God shall man live. We need to get the word of God. So in the case of Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16, your words were found and I did eat them. I imbibed them. I devoured them. And your words became the joy and rejoicing of my soul. God's word are good for us to eat and we need to eat them. We need to eat them. As newborn babes, we need to desire the word of God. God's word is divine supply as food to nourish us. Matthew 4 and 4, man shall not live by bread alone. God's word is a divine supply to nourish us. Um, and, and through the word of God, uh, though the word of God is our food, it also dispenses the riches of God into our innermost being to nourish us, us so that we could be filled with his likeness. John 6, 63 says, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. That's why we need the word of God in us so that when we speak to others, we speak spirit and not life. I speak spirit and life. When we eat God's words, his words became the joy and rejoicing of our hearts. So we need to eat the words of the Bible. The Lord Jesus took the word of God in the scriptures as his bread and he lived on it for he himself used the word of God as he overcame the enemy. We need to be nourished with the milk of God's word so that it not only nourishes us, but we have something to share with us. It builds us up on the in inward man. The Bible said, thy word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. So thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. You have got to go out there. Now you purified yourself. You've got to go out there with the word of God. You need to get into the church where the message is taught. The message is not taught everywhere. Sometimes you hear the same thing over and over and over, but you need to go a place where the word of God is diligent studied and diligently taught the word of God says that we should study to show ourselves approved unto men a workman that needs not be ashamed rightly dividing the word of God brothers and sisters if you don't get into the word of God get into Bible study we have a person that is qualified to teach you there's some real strange interpretations of God's word these days but we've got to get past that. We need then also to advance from the milk of the word, 1 Peter 2, 2, to the word of righteousness in Hebrews chapter 5, 13 and 14, which is the solid meat. Uh, Paul said there are times when you ought to be taking meat, but you're taking milk. Today, I want you to take the milk of God's word. When we continue next time, we're going to talk to you about taking the meat. You need it to be a child of God who witnesses for God. If you do not have a local assembly, feel free to join us for an exhilarating time of worship. Our services are 
Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Sunday evening, healing and deliverance at 6.30 p.m. Join us in prayer on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. and for Bible study on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Bless fellowship and enjoy. The simplicity of